So, uh, hi everybody. This is Dark Guyver Three. I'm doing a video response to Dark as a Mooney eighty seven this is North Star Ken Ray Two uh, Juza uh, Dream Mode Level One. Um, I um, am a big fan of Fist of North Star. I'm also a huge anime fan. Um, Fist of the North Star is basically, um, in short, the grandfather of your modern day of all the f um, fighting base animes you've seen. Bleach, Dragon Ball Z, Naruto. If you watch um, Fist of the North Star, a lot of the techniques and fighting style that you see like the fireball attack yeah you wouldn't have street fire wasn't for you know fist of the north star um or at least the inspiration for some of the techniques and styles um you wouldn't have there um i do find the game quite enjoyable i also read the reviews as well um they're basically nitpicking um, yet again, saying that the game sucks, it's a rehab, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's not. Um, Fist of North Star 1 covered basically the first story, main story arc. There were several story arcs covered. Uh, two stories. It covered Ken trying to get Yura, but Yuri. Yura, I can't even say her name. His woman back, back from Shen, Yura. That was one part of the story arc. The second story arc was him fighting the other, finding and fighting his other brothers, Jaga, Toki, Ra. That was the other part. Um, introductions of other characters were not was limited in the game you didn't see much of them but they were in the game um, in the first game you couldn't play them the only ones you could play was a thug and heart was the two additional characters that you could play um, now in the new one you get to play as a slew of characters that I don't even know all their names for but it's pretty epic and as you see in Dark Azamune's video it's pretty intensive um, the things that um, I missed in the game uh, was basically you could enter do a special move and kill the bosses off basically the low level bosses like the big guys or the guys with the weird mohawk helmet things on if you timed it right and did the special move you can pretty much kill them with one shot they got rid of that and went for something more uh you had to work for it which i'm fine with um the leveling system is different it's kind of like playing tetris it's like uh, and that might be a bad analogy but it's pretty much you got to match up your icons accordingly to get the ultimate nexus which is a five line setup the different aspects of the leveling system is basically on your stat chart, which is life, aura, attack, defense, technique. Now, on top of that, you get combination of scrolls that tell that gives you different things. It'll just give you the different three lines of of options of different stats that you have, plus maybe a bonus which gives you like brawl that gives you extra attack power or movement or what have you um which was interesting um i'm not gonna lie i missed the meridian chart because i couldn't really ever tell when i was leveling up like how close i was to the next level system um i like having the numerical system that they had on the meridian chart letting you know what you needed next to get to the next level but that's some, you know, it's a small issue. Currently, the way the system work is, you, you need to get a five line ultimate nexus. So you need a line of five, a line of four, a line of three, and a line of two. 
of the of each individual icon of the same set. So you need to have five attacks, four aura, two defense, um, uh, one technique, and that will give you the ultimate nexus, which will unlock even more powerful abilities for your character. Cool. Um, and you know, as far as gameplay wise. It is a lot quicker. Uh, the dodging system is excellent. I enjoy that immensely. Um, issues that I have with the game, there's not that many. Because um, I do love Techno Koei, but I'm also not, you know, a complete fanboy to the point where I, they can do no wrong. Um, the issues I have with the game is that the due to the fact that it's in Japanese, which I have no problem because I'm an anime fan, so I'm used to reading text in my anime movies. Um, I wish they had more of a background color um, or a background to bring forth the subtitles better. Um, the white sometimes made it difficult to read what was going on um, in the storyline. Um, other thing is people complain that they can't read or keep up with the storyline. Plain and simple, if you miss something, you can go back to gallery once you unlock it and basically rewatch the whole section. If you want to, you can actually read it like a motion comic from beginning to end in the gallery and watch all the movie scenes. And pretty much it's, you know, all there. Um, the music was, I enjoyed the music. Um, I would have liked personally, and hopefully this might be a DLC to have the original Fist of the North Star um, soundtrack for the for on on the game. Um, maybe that could be like I said DLC. Um, I played my I had a copy of mine, so I played it through my Xbox. And I must say it's pretty epic at times when you hearing the original score to Fist of the North Star playing back to some of the major scenes from the franchise from the from the series and it flows well like the whole game just flows in my opinion it's a classic good beat up and people are saying well it plays like a ps2 game it has the graphics of a ps2 game that's a lot you, you can pop in a copy of any ps2 game beat em up look at the dynasty warriors two through five you will see that the details and the characters are not as clean the lines are not as sharp the backgrounds are not as well defined. All these things you'll see in a PS2 game. Next gen system, and this is a next gen system game. You got lots more enemies. You don't have any slowdown. Like you can have over a hundred plus enemies on the screen. You don't have slowdown. In the other versions of these games, you will have slowdown periodically, and it would like you will have frame rate drop. I didn't have any or at all any frame drop. Um, like I said. It's a good classic beat em up game. In my personal opinion, it is on par with Golden Axe, Double Dragon, Final Fight, and any other um, beat em up game you can think of that's in classic category. Uh, let's see what else. Um, Alright, that's basically it. I mean, like I said, the game is overall solid. I would recommend it to my friends. Um, and basically, if you see the game, buy it. Um, if you can't afford it, I'm not going to lie, I know the economy's tough right now. If you can't afford to get the game brand new, just pick up the game generally. But it is worth $60. Um, I don't really agree with Dark Asimune said that it's kind of like a giant expansion pack because there is so much new content that's in it that it doesn't it does feel like a game within itself um i own some of the expansion packs of some of the other dynasty warrior games and it's it's not as deep as much stuff you get between legend mode dream mode and all the challenges and the online play it's a complete brand new game the storyline at some part is the same over but they did redesign some of the stages yet again and that's good I personally enjoy all the remake, the, enjoyed the whole retelling of the raw 
of the first two story arcs of both Kashiro versus Shin and Kashiro versus his other brothers. Uh, after that, there you go into the second series or the season two, which is the new character spoiler of the new characters development of Rin and Bat grown up, and then what occurs after that fact. Um, like I said, the game is good. I recommend it totally. Um, so, uh, two more interesting things, and the main motivation why I made this video. I have now officially challenged Dark Esmoon 87, Jersey Boy, and uh, if uh, Guardian 89, if he is available to play this as well, I challenge you to defeat my control no kin. My control no kin is the ultimate technique of video game playing. I take on all challenges because control no kin cannot be defeated. I have mastered the art of control no kin. So, to Dark, Ezimuni 87, Jersey Boy, Guardian, uh, 89, and I am as bold to say this, I also challenge Master Chen to try to defeat my control no kin. I believe that my technique, like my fist, is like stone and cannot be defeated or broken. Well, I have mastered my technique. So, basically, um, Techno Koei Day, if y'all guys want to play, hit me up, because you don't already know it, you're already dead, and I will proceed to beat you into the ground unmercifully. But, uh, love you guys, you guys rock, keep up the good work, and, um, that's basically it. Um, so, this is Dark Guyver signing out. Once again, um, look these guys up, Dark Ace Mooney 87, Jersey Boy, and Guardian 89. Um, I will have their links posted below. If you want to see gameplay and good commentary, check out Dark Ace Mooney 87, which you're already doing as we speak because you're looking at one of his videos. But check out his brother's stuff is equally entertaining, and his uh, voiceover work it's very colorful and very enjoyable. Um, and if you're into Dynasty Warriors um, 7 or XL uh, or Extreme um, Legends, uh, check out Guardian 89. Um, like I said, I'll have their links below. Uh, other than that there, um, have a good one. And I'll see you on the flip side. Bye.